Slaughterhouse-Five, last words of the book, chapter 10, take 47. This is hard to read, kids. There were hundreds of corpse mines operating by and by. They didn't smell bad at first, or wax museums. But then the bodies rotted and liquefied, and the stink was like roses and mustard gas, so it goes. The Maori Billy had worked with died of the dry heaves after having been ordered to go down in that stink and work. He tore himself to pieces, throwing up and throwing up. So it goes. So, a new technique was devised. Bodies weren't brought up anymore. They were cremated by soldiers with flamethrowers right where they were. The soldiers stood outside the shelters, simply sent the fire in. Somewhere in there, the poor old high school teacher, Edgar Derby, was caught with the teapot he had taken from the catacombs. He was arrested for plundering. He was tried and shot. So it goes. And somewhere in there was springtime. The corpse mines were closed down. The soldiers all left to fight the Russians. In the suburbs, the women and children dug rifle pits. Billy and the rest of his group were locked up in the stable in the suburbs. And then, one morning, they got up to discover that the door was unlocked. World War II in Europe was over. Billy and the rest wandered out onto the shady street. The trees were leafing out. There was nothing going on out there, no traffic of any kind. There was only one vehicle, an abandoned wagon drawn by two horses. The wagon was green and coffin-shaped. Birds were talking. One bird said to Billy Pilgrim, Po to eat? <laughs>